This is my office vibe. Like I want to attend a meeting and be like, hi, I'm Christine. <laughs> Welcome to your weekly meeting. Agenda items. We much appreciate your attendance and cooperation and collaboration. You are in my office. Kayla, simply should I draft up a communication plan and toolkit for briefing our fellow team members on the new additions to the line? Absolutely. Let's get that memo going. We got to let the members know. We got to notify all our associates, make our stakeholders and partners aware of the additions to the new Hollow Taco Creme lineup. Will there be a PowerPoint presentation at this meeting? There will not be. I know I, I am unprepared. Basically fire me, you know, in order to keep up with sustainability, yeah, work-life balance, mental health. We have to lower our own standards. Me, lowering my standards. I did not live stream the launch. And uh, there's a few reasons for that. The first is like, it's not a major launch. There's no collection box. There's nothing limited edition. Essentially, it's a creme drop as opposed to a collection launch because I do want to be sensitive to the fact of like saving that excitement for when it it makes more sense. Part of my goal is to do like little drops in between the very exciting drops so that there's a little bit of time to just chill, you know, just chill. Like if everything's exciting, then nothing is. Exactly, Hannah, exactly. Let's go through it. First of all, let's address everything Taco. As you recall, it was first released in this year's remix, second anniversary collection as a limited edition item. However, over the course of the next six months, we receive repeated bombardment requests specifically for everything Tago. <laughs> Demands that we must bring it back. So as a result of that and considering customer feedback during the 12 days of Christmas with no H back in December, we asked you guys of a certain list of four different limited edition polishes, which one would you vote for us to bring back? You guys voting to bring back everything Taco and got cake. They were basically tied <laughs> across social medias. Everything Taco is back. <laughs> if it sells out, then we're going to make another batch. And our goal is to keep making batches as long as A, people want it and the demand is there. In other words, as long as it's still selling well. And B, as long as the ingredients are available. It does include nine different pigments. So that does complicate our ability to restock it regularly because we need nine ingredients to have the precise amount of all of them at the same time in order to mix it. Our honest intention is to keep restocking it. If you're new to Holo Taco, everything taco is probably like a great place to start. The ultimate topper. Pick your base polish, put a topper on, transform it. It changes depending on the base color underneath and make it your own. This is over a naked nail. Ooh, Nike, Nike flaky. Over black, you're always gonna get the maximum impact of any topper. Let's move forward to the next agenda item, which is the main key item of the day. The introduction of the work-life balance bundle. Because you work hard at whatever it is you do, and you deserve some balance. Life isn't just about working, is something that Christine needs to tell herself more often. Look at this discount too. Book some time in your calendar because you've got a meeting with nail polish. Start your work day with the freshest Manny at the all hands meeting with this bundle of four bright creme polishes, board meeting left on red, here for the payday and work Bessie. How will you top these cremes? Please advise. I had too much fun with this one. I do need to show you though. <laughs> Who is that? Who is this? Ooh. Who is this? And I get a round of applause for the swatcher. <laughs> Look at this swatchorial debut. It's Ban. He did such a great job. We think we're gonna hire him. Ben, your cuticles are looking so good. Damn, Ban, where you been? Mm. <laughs> Me, after being gone for work 12 hours a day, I have work-life balance. It's on my other hand. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have been voting on my Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram. I said, pick your swatcher, Simply or Ben. And like Ben has been winning everywhere. Actually, let's ask here too. <laughs> you guys are gonna vote. I don't know why I do this to myself. Pick your swatcher. And we have Simply or 
Ban. Choose carefully. Your data will be anonymous. We appreciate the feedback. It will be collected and reviewed at the end of this meeting. As a standard, all of our crumbs now have the wider, more flared, rounded, medium width tip. We do separately sell the thick width brush pack, which is the same brush that comes by default in our crumbs. And we also sell the Simply Skinny brush pack, which is the default brush that comes in every other type of nail polish that isn't a creme. What, 60%? 60% of chat says Ben is their swatcher and 40% of chat says me. Okay, I'm ending the poll because I don't link the results. I, I get it though, exactly what Courtney is saying. Ben's nails are much closer in length and shape to my nails. Thus, when it comes to providing useful information to me, it's gotta be banana. We're all picking dad in the divorce. Ben, why did you pin this? <laughs> ben. <laughs> Absolutely hear you though, that Ben's nails might be more relatable. You're saying that I am not relatable. They how you are, you just have to I am the least relatable YouTuber. So far off in my elite la la land, I can't even imagine what it's like to be a regular average person with average nails. <laughs> I think we're gonna make an effort moving forward to swatch his nails. This isn't something Ben really signed on to do. It's another task <laughs> that I have just given him. I'll, I will try to get, you know, at least maybe one swatch per collection at minimum. I wanna show you one of my starting points of inspiration. <laughs> I looked at this and I was like, mmm. I like this. What can we pull from here that could be like the standard colors of Microsoft Office? Now, not necessarily exactly, but that's kind of where my head was. <laughs> Part of picking colors, especially cremes, is how far apart are they from existing crumbs? If you were to do math and calculate the distance between Work Bestie and Indigo Away and Work Bestie and Lavenda, is there an equal gap? Is there enough distance to justify uh, the introduction of work bestie. <laughs> yeah, artistic math, basically. That's what we do, artistic math. Also the Microsoft logo, I know people have brought that up. It's not exactly the same, but there is some interesting relationship between, you know, this kind of blue and the green. I also saw people saying the whole collection reminds them of Wildberry Skittles. <laughs> kind of. Now I'm hungry, guys. It looks like the Teletubbies colors. <laughs> wiggles? I've seen that too. I don't know what the wiggles are. They look like they would probably haunt my dreams. Work-life balance. Oh my God, the colors are similar to the Try Guys. Okay, at this point, we're just, we're saying it's similar to like every primary color. Heart emojis on iOS. Troom Troom colors. Nice try, kind of. Not really. <laughs> Barney! Holy shit. Yeah. This is so weird that we wanted to hug a giant dinosaur. It's like some guy on the inside sweating. We've gotten off track. This meeting has been derailed. We have deviated from the key topic at hand and been led astray by all these different tangents. Okay, let's let's circle back. Let's bring it back. Wake up everyone because this is not a board meeting. Sometimes a board meeting could have been an email. Mm -hmm, yeah, don't don't you love when that happens? Unless it was as exciting as this bold blue creme polish. Efficient with its creamy coverage, effective at brightening your daytime mood, and equipped with a wide rounded brush for better application than a word processor. <laughs> it's very much like Zoom Blue. <laughs> like the logo. <laughs> I've also seen people Describe this as cornflower blue, bored but not boring. Exactly, this is not a boring blue. Left on red, the shade named by you guys during the 12 days of Christmas when we had an open vote. Left on red, definitely won by a landslide. Hollow Taco's very first red creme, and she is spicy. When an email comes in at the end of the work day, they're about to be left on red because you're not dealing with that shit. You know, the day is over. Please disregard the busy week you just had and reward your nails with this bright red creme polish. The perfect hot red mani candidate with a self-leveling formula more satisfying than an auto-fillable PDF. I don't know about you, but I hate PDFs that when you open them, you can't fucking fill them out. Like it's broken. Like, why would you send me a PDF that I cannot complete? You're fired. This red is on the warmer side. It's more like a hot tomato, a red pepper red, fire engine, fire hall, Adobe Acrobat reader, maybe. Ferrari red, yes, exactly. Red hot chili peppers red. And I'll dig you on the other side. 
Moving on. You know, sometimes you love work. Work can be fun. But it's okay to be here for the payday. <laughs> I see you. You're showing up for that paycheck. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, there's a week where you're like, you know what? It's paycheck week. It's payday. <laughs> I am here for it. When the job description involves color, you'll excel, like the spreadsheet software, with this bright and unique shade. It's a neonish lime green, but it's a little more yellow than that. It's almost like in between a yellow highlighter and a green highlighter. Please compare here for the payday to a Canadian $20 bill. I don't have any cash anymore. There's the Canadian $20 bill. Uh, it is hollow. Comparisons to Matchmaker, which is much more like muted and sage green. Whereas this is like bright, like, hey bitch, I'm here. Where's my check, you know? <laughs> One more. The best part of the day is catching up with your work bestie. For me, that's Ben. <laughs> you, your nails in this warm and bold purple creme polish. We know you understand the assignment. Teamwork makes the cream work, except I say it creme. So it, it the sentence doesn't rhyme unless you read it in an American accent. <laughs> you may spam eggplant emojis. This is the only time that mods will accept eggplant emojis in the chat. So go ahead. I would describe this as a warm purple. It's definitely brighter and more colorful than Indigo Away, which is like super dark. Again, another creamy full coverage one. Stunning, stunning. Moving on, moving on. The last item of discussion of the new items that have been released as of Monday at holotago.com is the hand cream. The hand cream has been in development for like a year. Yeah, 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 look at this. Who are we, Sephora? Wow. <laughs> Only thing that should be dry is your sense of humor. <laughs> Made with shea butter and coconut oil for an absorption level that delivers for dry skin. Enriched with Okay, how am I gonna pronounce this, guys? Make bets on how I'm gonna pronounce this. Ho, 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 ba. Hey there, ho, ho, ba. Yo, yo, ba. Yo, yo. Hi, ho, ba. Jojo, ba. Jo <laughs> Chat, Jojo Mart. Like, uh, Stardew Valley. Jojo Siwa. Ah! Ho, ho, ba. I do believe that the proper pronunciation is jojoba, where the J is silent. However, it's kind of become a joke that over the past nine years or whatever of me on the internet, I have read it for its literal letters with a J and just said jojoba. Once again, jojoba. Okay, I'm going to shut up. The first thing that you need to know and the number one reason why I even wanted a hand cream was that it includes jojoba. Pretty straightforward once you know. Or jojoba oil. I still strongly believe in including this ingredient where hands are concerned. Your nails are probably on your hands, right? So when you care for your hands, you are also kind of into, you know, you're caring for your nails at the same time. <laughs> we had an expert in skincare, body lotion, whatever, develop this specifically for us according to uh, my directives that what I wanted. And another thing that was really important to me was to make sure it dried down in a way that wasn't greasy, like a matte taco for your skin, but moisturizing. And what makes it rich and hydrating is because it has coconut oil and shea butter. It is scented and the scent is like argan milk. It's kind of nutty, a little bit sweet. It's not like some like huge whiff of vanilla cotton candy bullshit. <laughs> so people are asking me about like sensitive skin and breakouts or eczema. And I really think it's important as someone with allergies to look at the ingredients because ultimately everyone is going to have a different sensitivity, a different tolerance for ingredients. It would be very misguided of me or anyone really to tell you that this is good for eczema because well, first of all, eczema is a chronic condition that can't be cured and different people's eczema is triggered by different ingredients. All the ingredients on the back, it has holographic bars. It's a hundred milliliters. What is that? 3.4 ounces. It's like the size of my hand. We need a banana for scale, Ben. Well. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's a good size. Anyways, I hope you guys like the hand cream. Would you like a demonstration? Whoa, <laughs> this is like the worst demo ever. 
model worthy hands. Comparison. One melon followers, the floor is guava new, left on red, and I'm over brew. Wow. I'm over brew, high tea hibiscus, work bestie new, and indigo away. There's lavender and work bestie. That's a beautiful like color combo. And we've got the greens, Seafoam Home Matcha Maker, here for the payday, new one, and green screen. So this was kind of the question mark I saw most people asking. I consider these as entirely different, neon bright vibes, and this is light, ironically more office appropriate, according to, you know, Linda's definition of office appropriate. I would say that Matcha Maker is more so that, and here for the payday is like my definition of office appropriate. I feel like these two are perfect for St. Patrick's Day gradient. Full charge has more yellow glow, but maybe that's just like the holographic flare. But I mean, like you can't really compare a creme polish with a linear hollow. Come on guys, that's level one. Come on guys. <laughs> We've got the blues, scientific, the new board meeting, royalty blue and shady navy. This is like the ultimate medium bright blue, right in the middle. It's not light, it's not pastel but it's not royal or navy. Oh, I'm wearing everything taco. I didn't even tell you what's on my other hand. You know, everything taco, you can put it on whatever you want. And I just feel like this is my office vibe. Like I wanna attend a meeting and be like, hi, I'm Christine. <laughs> nice to meet you. Look at this beauty. Ooh, it's a circle of life. Because of everything taco. <laughs> this meeting has gone off the deep end. All right, everyone. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.